You guys know how the slogan for KFC is, it's finger looking good? What if they change it to, it's fingering on my asshole? Ooh. Reapers, what is good? It's your boy Laser. These are the vibes back with another reaction video. This will be the reaction content. So I continue to deliver that for you guys. This will be right in 10 strangers fast food menu items from foreign countries. Guys, so many countries be selling weird shit, bro. They be smell, they be selling fish, bro. And that's how some of y'all pussies be smelling like. Now, if you guys enjoy the reaction content, you want more reaction videos like the feature, somebody said the like button. You subscribe. Hey, turn on kids, only takes less than a second. I stream every night on Twitch. Go check them out. Let's dive straight into this video. The ten strangest fast food menu items from other countries. Bro, this about Kit Kat and Pizza Hut. Kit Kat. Together at last. Oh, dude. Someone fill up my hot dog buns, bro. See all that chocolate in it? Instead of chocolate, can someone put white vanilla cream into it? Bro, all jokes aside, who the fuck would eat this shit, bro? Like, one bite of this and I'm fucking dead, dude. I literally can't have sugar, guys, because I, like, I, I'm borderline diabetes. I'm dead serious. Kit Kat and Pizza Hut together. Like, this shit looks nasty as fuck. Cake flavored pizza, pizza flavored cake. Kit Kat is one of the most popular candy bars on the planet. Instantly recognized by its four chocolatey wafers, snackers have been breaking themselves off a piece of that Kit Kat bar for more than 80 years. Oh, it looks so on good. that note, Pizza Hut is undoubtedly one of the most recognized pizza chains in the world. So, what happens when the two franchises collaborate? You get Kit Kat Pops. The Kit Kat Pop is an individual Kit Kat. See, where like, I would eat this if, like, I didn't have borderline diabetes. Maybe if I was like 10, I would eat this, you know what I mean? That segment wrapped in pizza dough like a sweet so in a blanket. This. The result is gooey, melted Kit Kat chocolate with warm and chewy oh. pizza dough. But before you go running to your local Pizza Hut to grab a few of these bad- Hold on, Nate, we gotta run. Oh. I didn't say shark your pants, huh? Boys, don't bother. Not unless you happen to live in the Middle East. Yes, these tasty creations are a product of Pizza Hut locations in Middle Eastern countries. So unless your next vacation destination is a trip to Oman or Jordan, you're not getting your hands on these. The Kit Kat Pops are by no means the first odd creation they whipped up by Pizza Hut so. in the Middle East. Items such as the cone crust, which is a cone-shaped crust filled with chicken and either cream cheese or honey mustard, and the mini cheeseburger crusted cheeseburger crown crust pizza are all commonplace oh. items. What makes a McMuffin a McMuffin? Oh, it's Fried a egg sandwich. Breakfast is, wait for it, the most important meal of the day. Oh yeah. Cliche? Yes. True? Absolutely. So, of course, just about every fast food franchise offers a breakfast menu to start your day off right. However, when it comes to fast food and breakfast Ain't food, it. McDonald's McMuffin is probably the most iconic. Bro, you want to think about, about McDonald's, bro? They, they charge, they overprice their shit now. Like, the whole point of McDonald's was when, like, it's supposed to be that place you go to for cheap-ass food. Now they be charging, like, overpricing everything, bro. Like, bro, we didn't go there, like, bro, they think their food's high quality. I mean, like, it's not high quality. Their meat's more fake than fucking my meat, bro. Like, my penis is literally artificial, guys. Did you guys know my penis was created in the robot factories? And whenever it ejaculates, it goes like this. I am coming. Do you get that, Nathan? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean, bro? Fast food breakfast sandwich on the planet. Of course, there have been variations of the classic breakfast sandwich over the years, such as the addition of sausage, ham, and bacon. Processed However, meats, the meats are no. standard breakfast fare and are by no means out of place that on a breakfast so sandwich. Bro. On the other hand, McDonald's locations in Poland do things differently when it comes to the McMuffin. Their what? take on the McMuffin features cottage Is cheese and radishes, replacing the traditional ingredients. <laughs> well, that's uh, <laughs> very... Interesting. At first glance, the Polish McMuffin is quite eye-catching, with the bright colors of the ingredients and the McMuffin's a larger size. Oh. Another aspect of the Polish McMuffin is the health factor. This version of the classic McDonald's breakfast is a lot healthier than the original, as cottage cheese and radishes are a lot more heart-friendly so than good. bacon, sausage, and even egg. At the end of the day, it's hard to get the egg McMuffin wrong, and the various that foreign so innovations good. may be strange, but who said strange? Range can't be delicious. Thanks, bro. The Colonel's 11 herbs and spices and egg. 
with 12 original herbs and spices. Asia is a land of deliciously exotic food. However, there are some Asian countries that are often overlooked in the world of food, such as Indonesia. Indonesia. Indonesia's food innovation is both unique and delicious, and this is especially true with their fast food oh, franchises. My taste buds. KFC is beloved worldwide. However, the Southern Fried Chicken. You guys know how the slogan for KFC is its finger looking good? What if they change it to it's fingering on my asshole? <laughs> chain is particularly popular in Asia, but Asian tastes are often a lot different from those of the Western world. Oh. Many Western countries scare MSG. They think it's poison. Hi, yeah. So Hiya. the Indonesian nice. menu again, might though. be a bit jarring for anyone used to the God, traditional KFC menu. Items like the salt. Bro, our foods be looking like. It's crazy how American foods are so trash compared to other countries' foods, bro. Like, bro, that's why I want to fucking travel to other countries, bro, as soon as I get the chance, you know? Because, like, I just, like, bro, there's so much more than just America, bro. Like, where we, I'd be forgetting that we're, like, not the only country, you know what I mean? Like, there's other countries to actually go to, and they're, like, they're way better than America, I'll tell you that. Did egg chicken, oh, for example. Oh, I fed some people. And this wild uh, take on traditional chance, fried chicken first popped up on the Indonesian KFC menu in 2018 as part of the Taste of Asia menu. The salted egg chicken dish was based on a traditional Indonesian meal, which is a national delicacy. The chicken features a salted egg yolk dressing drizzled over crispy KFC chicken. Unfortunately for fans, the salted egg chicken was only a limited time item. KFC Indonesia did, however, release a seasonal special known as the gold spice, which is hot and crispy chicken coated I in a blend of salted good. egg yolk, curry leaves, chili, and sweet basil that in 2023. Good. That looks good. Scallops and abalone on a pizza. Scallops, ew. Ooh, spot the playful abalone. Pizza is such a versatile food. There are versions of the savory pie that barely resemble the original Italian dish. This is especially true the further you get from Italy. In North America, Scallops what nasty, we think bro. of pizza is not exactly a traditional Naples pizza greasy, with looks. meats and cheeses that would be out of place on the original version. Moreover, the Asian take, as you'd expect, is also radically different oh. from the original. Interesting toppings will often find their way onto Asian pizzas, and this is on full display at Pizza Hut's in Taiwan. That looks so Over good. there, the luxurious scallop and abalone pizza is not only a mouthful to say, but it is also a mouthful of ingredients it's not so typically good. associated with pizza. Oh. Well, that's kind of weird. Introduced as a limited time pizza in 2023 for Chinese New Year, the luxurious scallop and abalone pizza featured. Bro, that looks like squid. Dude, that looks nasty. That looks like a hard fucking cut it in half, bro. You just broke my heart. Oh, oh, I can't breathe. Heart attack. I'm having a heart attack. Pound, pound, pound. That's what my chest is looking like right now. Oh, no. Pound, 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 pound. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Scallops, mullet roe, a cured fish, XO sauce, pork, and cheese dumplings on the bro. crust. But the crown jewel on this pizza is the abalone, which is a shellfish and considered a delicacy. While seafood and pizza are usually light nasty. years away from one another, like this sushi, pizza but... is a hit nonetheless. First time here? Well, you don't need a food degree to hit that subscribe hit that button, subscribe so button go bro. ahead and smash it. Oh, Thanks. is that Ernest? This is not your everyday is flurry. I understand. It's okay. McDonald's foreign franchises never fail to disappoint when it comes to interesting takes on classic foods. Take ice cream, for example. The delicious dessert is a worldwide oh, dude, phenomenon. The frappe, However, so in good. Thailand, one particular flavor of Mickey though, D's ice cream is not traditional by any means. The chili paste pork ice cream may cause you to do a double take the first time seeing it, but in Thailand, it's as common as the Big Mac and an Oreo McFlurry over here in the oh, West. So Garnished good. with chili paste sauce and light and fluffy shredded pork floss, the so chili good. paste pork ice cream is likely not the first flavor to choose looks really when looking good. for I'll relief from good. the heat, but the combination of the sweet and savory flavors have made this ice cream quite the hit. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? ice cream topping isn't unheard of in the West. A bacon ice cream, anyone? 
Bro, that looks good. Hey, you know the old saying, don't Why knock it till you tried it. So next time you find yourself in Thailand, well, go ahead and try it. It looks good. KFC's Next Level Mochi. Uh -huh. The more said about mochi, the better. The small Japanese rice cakes are a treat and a half. Rice cakes. Don't let the rice part fool you. These are not the dry disc rice cakes we Westerners are used to. Mochi are soft and moist ball-shaped cakes that also contain delicious filling. Because Ooh. why not put an exclamation point on a dessert to really hammer the point home? Surprisingly, meat. you won't find a lot of fast food franchises serving up these round cakes. However, in Malaysia, you'll find these sweet little balls of goodness on their KFC menus. Ooh. These mochi debuted on Malaysian menus back in 2020, but due to their popularity, returned in 2021 and 2022. The golden mochi are taken to another level as these round cakes are deep fried rather than baked and filled with D24 durian, which is a beloved variation of the fruit. It's like mango. And yes, durian fruit is the fruit that smells like sweaty gym socks. Mango. However, the fruit is extremely popular in Asian countries, and while it may have an unpleasant odor, the taste is said to be fantastic. I'm not going to eat that. Forget the PSL. How about a pumpkin whopper? A pumpkin whopper. What the Halloween? The pumpkin is an iconic fruit. Yes, it's a fruit that most of us instantly associate with freshly fall. By the way, guys, Halloween is the best, or fall is the best season of all time. If you think spring is better, I hope you guys. You wanna know what was crazy? How do people like spring, bro? You said bees, bro, that go like this. Bzz, 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 fucking making your dick have an erection. Did you just know if you get stung by a bee in the penis, bro, it, it permanently enlarges it? I'm being dead serious, by the way. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> but, um, fall is the best season. You know, winter winter's pretty good, too. Fall is the best season. Uh, summer, summer's, summer's aight, but it's overrated. It, uh, it's aight. <laughs> Fallen autumn leaves, trick-or-treaters galloping through the streets, and a hot pumpkin pie at the center of a table at Thanksgiving. So of course, many fast food franchises have utilized the pumpkin to liven up their menu. Donut franchises such as Tim Hortons and Krispy Kreme both have pumpkin spice donuts that make That's the rounds good, around bro. October through to November. Okay, donuts are a given, but what about a pumpkin burger? Is Who was off. brave enough to try that, that one? So Never good. one to shy away from innovation, it was Burger King Japan who was bold enough to serve up the pumpkin whopper. So this good. whopper has everything you'd expect on a whopper, along with some <laughs> items you're not used to, like a creamy, savory nut sauce made with oh, sesame. No, we could change that, bro, and make it actual nut sauce. seeds and assorted nuts and thinly sliced Japanese pumpkin or kabocha. These ingredients are all housed between a pumpkin shaped sesame bun. The pumpkin whopper may not seem like your typical classic take on the iconic burger, but the limited time specialty burger was a hit. That's and so let's good. be honest, there have been a lot more disastrous takes on the whopper in the past. That's a so Halloween weird. whopper, anyone? Less said about that one, the better. What kind of donuts at KFC? Okay, bro. This is just this is just diabetes, guys. This is just asking for diabetes. It looks good, but like one bite of this and I'm dead. Mmm, donut. donut. The oh so sweet donut. Zebra but donut. what if the donut wasn't sweet at all? Further still, imagine replacing the dough with something a little less traditional, like fish. Now you have an fish. idea of what you might get a glimpse of when walking into a KFC in Singapore. That's right, KFCs in Ew. Singapore offer their customers a unique taste on a classic North American treat, the fish donut. Not as crazy as it sounds, these savory circles are just deep fried fish rings. Ugh. Fish donuts come in packs of six and are not meant to be dipped in your coffee. But why stop at just fish? donuts, as the franchise also serves up shrimp stars, oh, which are fried shrimp in the shape of, you guessed it, that stars. Good. That the donuts good. and stars are all a part of a seafood snackers combo, and given Asia's affinity for seafood are likely a big hit, that at least good. in Singapore, that is. How many pizza toppings? All toppings. More bang Everything for the buck. The only 
Uh, pineapple bar is a pizza, by the way. The downside to ordering pizza is a green on the toppings everyone wants on it. When in a group, it can be a tough task trying to come to a consensus about the topping. Sure, there's the deluxe, which is, to a degree, a pizza with everything. Uh -huh. However, why not take the idea of the everything pizza and really make it an indecisive pizza eater's dream come true? Luckily, the culinary pizzeria pioneers over at Domino's Japan have done just that with the Best 34 pizza. The Best 34 is a limited-time pizza that boasts a mind-boggling 34 toppings. Oh. The pizza is divided into quarters and has three different sauces along with 34 mouth-watering toppings. These toppings include the traditional pepperoni and cheese, as you'd expect, but the Best 34 also comes with exotic toppings such as octopus, oh. mussels, teriyaki chicken, asparagus, corn, Hokkaido camembert, rice cakes, and beef ribs, That's to name good, a few. Bro. With the massive number of toppings, the Best 34's crust may just collapse under the enormous weight. Unfortunately, there seems to be no plans on introducing the Best 34 in North America. So how do they keep that shit the same? Ties, though. I just know there's fucking bacteria and shit that gets in that sometimes. Like tapeworms and shit, bro, especially Domino's. Eh. Uh, anytime soon. So, a trip to Japan may be in order. Oh, fuck Here yeah. are a few honorable mentions, and go ahead and hit that like button. You've come this far. Oh, yeah. The Double Down Dog, KFC Philippines. Yep, it's exactly what you're thinking. A double down with a hot dog a instead of a slice of bacon. The Philippines continues to be a country that seems to keep finding interesting uses for the hot dog. Just check out Jollibee's take on spaghetti. The Nutella Burger, McDonald's Nutella burger. Italy. Oh, that Over good. in Italy, this sweet burger right is there. offered alongside classic McDonald's fare. The burger is filled with the nutty, chocolatey spread. Just literally put and pour Nutella on your burger, like. And continues to be a hit in me. Europe. Chizza, KFC Singapore. Imagine if fried chicken and pizza collided. Well, imagine no That's more. Chizza is that vision come to life. A fried chicken breast smothered with mozzarella, marinara, and other assorted pizza faves. Okay, now for number, number one. Number one, that's me. McDonald's Pie Spinoff. Anything new with corn? Corn is in just about everything. You may not taste it, but corn is a major ingredient of... They said corn, bro? Uh, corn is my favorite band, bro. But you know what else is my favorite hobby? Porn! <laughs> Time to jack off to some BBLs. Ow. Most of our everyday food items. But let's talk about some of the classic foods with corn as a showcase. Cornbread is a tasty southern classic comfort food enjoyed by millions, and Doritos are as popular as ever. So it seems like corn can do it all, even become a pie. I love corn. Mmm, mm, cone. Good, Picture man. yourself traveling to Thailand with images of crystal waters Ooh, and white sands cake. awaiting you. But as soon as you land, you're hungry and spot a local McDonald's. Chances are you'll also spot the corn pie right next to the other, more traditional McDonald's menu That's items. So good. Yes, McDonald's Thailand offers this interesting take on the classic fried fruit pie. Swapping out the familiar apple filling, the corn pie is loaded with sweet and salty, creamy corn. Oh. Since the pie's introduction, it's been making its way across parts of Asia, including South Korea and Malaysia. The pie isn't likely to ever make it stateside, but the pie stands as a reminder that corn really does seem to be in that everything. Looks so good. We're yeah, serving up great. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Those three look so good. Like, let me know, guys. Would you would you pour Nutella on your burger, bro, and masturbate to it? I would. But if you guys enjoy the reaction content, if you want more reactions, like this feature, you can new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Money.